guys, ever wondered when we talk about cryptocurrency, you always hear about Web3? Let me talk about that in this video. I'm not a professional advisor, but let's get it on. All right, guys, so this is Investopedia. We have a lot of information about Web3 here, but I will also be giving you my personal thoughts and what Web3 is in a nutshell. So this is a very good article to read, but make sure to finish up this video because this will actually educate and inform you on what Web3 is. So basically, Web3 represents the next evolutionary leap in the internet technology, which transitions from the centralized platforms of Web2 to the decentralized systems that is powered by blockchains. Now, this shift emphasizes user ownership, privacy, and control over personal data and assets. Now, unlike Web2, where corporations manage and profit from user data, all right, Web3 eliminates intermediaries, which allows individuals to interact directly within the centralized network. So the key features of Web3 are number one, decentralization all right so the blockchain technology distributes the power and removes the reliance on central authorities number two is ownership all right so the users maintain control over their digital identity data assets and fostering autonomy okay so that is ownership and the number three is the smart contracts. So the smart contracts are automated agreements that execute transparently without the need for intermediaries. And then four would be the tokenization, all right? So the use of cryptocurrencies and NFTs provides ownership and active participation within the ecosystems, all right? The examples of Web3's in action are DeFi, all right, decentralized finance. So those are the platforms like AAV and Uniswap, which enables lending, borrowing, and trading without banks, all right? So the next one would be the Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which is the organization like MakerDAO, and that allows the community-led governance, okay? For the token holders, we say, they have a vote on the direction of the project. So it's not just the developers going to dictate where the project's going to, but the token holders would also have a vote or have like a share. They could tell the developers, hey, this is my vote. This is where I want this project to go. Next one would be blockchain-based games, all right? So those are the games like Axie Infinity and Decentraland that offers play to earn models and digital asset ownership. And then finally, we have the Web3 wallet. So tools like your MetaMask and Trust Wallet enables secure crypto management and decentralized interactions. So those are the examples of the Web3 in action. And now another question is, all right, how Web3 impacts everyday life, right? So Web3 empowers unbanked populations through the accessible financial tools. It enables creators to earn directly via NFTs and royalties and introduces the blockchain-based digital identities like the ENS. And it simplifies online transaction and also it simplifies online interactions with privacy and security. So the evolution of the internet is really, really good because again, we are continuously improving the technology on making our transactions over the internet more secure as it goes by. Now, here's the question. What are the challenges that Web3 has? Now, while promising guys, Web3 also faces hurdles such as scalability limitations on blockchain network, complexity for newcomers, regulatory uncertainties, and the environmental impact of proof of work system. Now, these challenges highlight the areas for innovation as Web3 continues to grow and we can see more and more improvement as time goes by, hopefully to address all those challenges. And who knows, I mean, Web4 might you know, come in the near future, right? 
and it's gonna be better and better and better. So in a nutshell, guys, Web3 signifies a transformative era where individuals regain control and foster a more inclusive and decentralized internet future. That is basically a good explanation on what Web3 is. But again, guys, you could read through a lot of information here in Investopedia. This is actually a good read. So go ahead and check them out. And of course, guys, in this video, we actually tackled Web3 in a nutshell and what are the things that i feel you guys need to know that is basically as simple as it gets if you're new to the channel guys i hope you would consider clicking that like that subscribe and click that bell that will always be notified when i upload new videos like this in the future i'll see you on the next i'm out peace